All right, so it's good to see you. And I, you know, one thing that struck me, Mitch, as I was reading about your latest book is just how phenomenally well all your books have done. And so I guess congratulations are in order for well, that thanks. because, I mean, must be nice. But why do you think they have been so successful and not only in this country but in places like Ireland? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, you should I, say, Katie, because they're really, really good. I talked about Tuesdays with Maury early on. It, that was an accident. I mean, that was a book written to pay Maury's medical expenses. Right. It wasn't like people embrace these books, give them as gifts, and say, you know, I'm in there. I see myself in there. And, uh, you know, it's not like I'm aiming at them that way, but that's. Yeah. Ships at their purest, yeah. in a way, you know, and. And I think people appreciate that, and that's probably yeah, why you're, you told me. I think I'm the 19th person you've been interviewed by <laughs> your book tour. Well, only, only because we're a little late in the process. You know, <laughs> I would, you would have been first, but oh, uh, sure. You know. But you're you're heading to Ireland after yeah, this. Yeah, on the cover. I've seen some like in Russian. So which is my name and which is the title? And yet, <laughs> like people, well, like Tuesdays with Maury, it, it came to me. It wasn't something I ever thought about doing. And nine years ago, I went back to the little oh, town. Your favorite. Never asked me a favorite before in my life. Okay, what? You weren't a particularly religious person. Right. And has this experience changed you? Oh, yeah. has, it, has it deepened your faith? And well, if so, how? It was faith. I would have said, yeah. you know, I'm not <laughs> check, really. Check, please. Yeah, yeah, check, please. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk about yours, and I really want to talk about mine. I think I believe in it because you believe in being good to other people. And you have the cynicism smacked out of you, or else you're a very cold person. Those things, and compassion. I mean, they're very, very similar, just yeah. with different with different holy books and maybe different robes. Right. Well, I'll give Something you another sort of universal about what you're asking me, but it's towards the end of his life. And we're talking about heaven. I always have that silly smile on your face, like, okay, please stop singing. I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> no, actually, I, I like know. it. Yeah. Well, if you asked him how you mean, I said, well, they must have a whole other level for you. You know, you're a man of God. You're on the, you're at the penthouse you're, level, right? right. You're a man of God. And he looked at me as a cause. He's 90 years old. He is as righteous and pious a man as I've ever met in my life. And for him to put himself on, on my level more and, more and volunteers. say tears, end up coming down and working at that church. Now, why would that be? You would think people would pull in.